shortly. Thank you, thank you for joining us for this awesome bonus live stream from Animal Kingdom. There's just a duck. So we just walked in the gate. Everywhere um, the water touches is yours. They have actually are been letting people in for a little while, which is not uncommon for them um, on busy times. They will generally let people in. Spoonbills are still napping this morning. There's a random duck. He has the high ground. He does have the high ground. Everywhere the water touches is yours. Good morning, Sonia. Let's see who we got. Hi, Christina. Good morning, Rachel. We're so glad that we could bring you our... He's up on the waterfall. Just keep an eye on things. He's probably enjoying the flow on him. Potentially, yes. Sonia, hi, hi, hi. <clears throat> like I said, Chris will be joining us in just a couple minutes. Liberty's uh, AP wasn't letting us in the park with her, so he ran over to guest services to get that taken care of. And then he's going to be catching up to us. It is a beautiful day in the Animal Kingdom today. It is going to get warm later on. Forecasted highs in the 90s today. A good, it would be a good water park day. So that's true. <laughs> we do have water park. Well, no, yeah, I can't. We do. Didn't they take off the pluses of our... They did take off the plus, but I think it was supposed to come back on once. Uh, no. I think. We'll have to check on that. We did originally have... Dad. You think Dad took it off? No, I think... No, I... I was talking to Dad about the water park, and he was like, they took the platinum plus off it. The plus off the plus. Oh, yeah. Well, they definitely did while it was closed. They didn't want us paying for things we weren't going to be able to get. So. so if this is your first time joining us today, welcome. We live stream every Monday and Friday from a park or Disney property. Like yesterday, we had a fun resort day and I visited the Epcot area resorts. Those are some really nice resorts. Yep. And we decided to throw in an, a bonus day this weekend because with um, spring break, it's been a lot more challenging for us to get into the parks and get park day reservations. But we were able to snag one for today, so we thought you guys might like to join us. We've got the tree of life up in front of us right there. And we are crossing the bridge onto Discovery Island. If you've never been to Animal Kingdom before, it's broken up into different lands and all of those lands kind of connect to this central island area where the Tree of Life is located. It's kind of a quick and easy pass through. You can walk all the way around the circle, so to speak, or you can cross one of the bridges and travel. My personal favorite starting location is Dino Land. Dino Land. Caleb loves Dino Land. Why do you love Dino Land, Caleb? I just like the, the fun carnival. Well, what would you call it? What um, do you love about the it? The fair aesthetic the Charlie and Chester's has. Like a fairground kind of. Yeah, like that kind of Carnival stuff. feel. Yeah, it has a carnival feel as well as just having the other dinosaur part with like cool dinosaurs. Yes, we love Dino Land. You got the Derpy and you got the cool. Okay, the Derpy? Well, they don't really look like they could do what they would do with the real dinosaur. That is true. That is true. Plus, well, you sure really like to ride Primeval World. Yep. 
sad that that's not reopening. Really sad. Good morning, Rachel. So Chris, as I said, is going to be joining us shortly. He is in the guest services line. So if you're coming to one of the parks and you have um, to pick up tickets or buy tickets, there are several different buildings in front that handle that. If you're having issues with your tickets, um, generally they're gonna recommend that you go to guest services. They have um, staff that are, that's their specialty, is just taking care of issues. So that's where they headed and that's where they were. Okay, let's turn around so you guys can see the pretty view. It is very sunny, as you can see. I am wishing for sunglasses. <laughs> It's a gorgeous day right now. The temperature is already pretty warm. Um, our plans are to hit um, Kilimanjaro Safari, and um, we're going to make be making a stop at Creature Comforts for sure at some point because there's a new treat there, an Easter themed. Is it Thumper, Caleb? Yeah, it's thumper. Um, thumper cupcake. A Thumper cupcake, and I'm going to be getting my caffeine fix. I think I was staying up really late last night taking care of. Some things for clients, so I'm pretty tired. I am running on empty this morning, so I will definitely be fueling up with some caffeine for sure. Do you want to go look at some animals while we wait? What do you guys think? Animals? What animals do we want to see? We've got flamingos on our way, the otters as well if they're out there's also the, the bird over there the storks the storks there's storks as well yep there's a lot of people over there taking photos that we'll try not to photobomb them the tree of life is definitely a fun photo spot it's so. like the it's like the Cinderella's Castle of Animal Kingdom. It is like the Cinderella's Castle. At one point, everybody shot to take a photo. Yep. Because it's a really nice place to take a it's photo. It's the landmark, right? Aww. They're still sleeping. They're still snoozing. Man. Good morning, little mingo friends. That one's pruning. Yep. Yeah, they're all, but they're all still snoozing. There are some, there is um, one baby in the mix here. Can you guys tell which one is the baby? And if so, tell me how you can tell. They're making some interesting sounds this morning. I think they're doing that grumbly thing that my teenagers do where they're like, it's not time to get up, mom. I'm trying to sleep. I think that's him snoring. You think he's snoring? I don't know if you guys can hear. It's like this little chirpy sound. So for those of you that couldn't pick out the baby, there's the baby right there. And I know it looks about the same size as all the others, but you there's can- There's also that one over there that also didn't have- the It doesn't have as much pink. There is a yeah. young one over here. This is um, Caleb's right. It doesn't have as much pink, although it has more pink than the other. And uh, the pink develops over time. It comes from their diet. So this one over here has not had nearly as much of those lovely shrimp that they get a pretty pink color from and it accumulates over time in their feathers so it does take a good while i want to say that when the last time we took um a safari ride they said it took up to two years for a flamingo to develop that rich pink color just it accumulates in the feathers so and obviously you know if the feathers already grown it's like your fingernails the color is not going to add in there so they have to shed feathers and and gain new ones they're just pretty pink feathers though. the color the the sounds they're making are just fascinating guys eyes are closed 
Caleb's right, it does kind of seem like they're snoring. I think they're just complaining. <laughs> Trying to sleep. Just a random bird over there, we just take a big bath. Is he enjoying the nice clean water? Mm -hmm. They take really good care of the flamingos here. But we'll leave them to sleep for a little while longer. Zoom me back out, sorry about that. The lesser flamingo. The lesser flamingos, that's right. So what makes them lesser, Caleb, do you remember? Nope. So the, they're lesser, they're smaller. So on the safari, Kilimanjaro safari, they actually have um, greater flamingos. The ones that you see on the safari are the greater flamingos. And what makes them greater is their size. Let's see if the otters are up and out yet. Inside the safari. We have the greater flamingos. They may or may not be down here if they're up. They might be still. Yeah, they may not even be out on, they do take them in at night. So let's see if they're over on their big rock. See them, buddy? They may not be out yet. They may not be out on display. No. Doesn't look like it. No, I don't think they are. There's fish in there, but fish. There's fish, yes. There's fish in the water. We'll take a final peek from above. So there are several different areas you can see them from if you're coming to look at the otters. They have a couple of different windows. Yep, their slide has water running on it today, which was not the case the last time we were here. But they like to, they like to play over here as well, so. It's actually a mother and their, her grown kits. So think of it as a mom hanging out with her rowdy children. Let's see if the room here. There's a catfish in the water there. Very, very large catfish. But we're gonna head up here and see if the vultures are out. They actually have a mating pair of vultures here. And when we were here last time taking a look at them, they actually had, no, they've got it closed off, it looks like. We'll see. Yep. They actually had, um, nope. yeah, no, it's closed off. A nest, oh wait, no, here we go. It's still open. They actually had um, created a nest. From what we've been told, they're not very good at the nest making. They generally have to help them. And are they out yet? Oh yeah, the kangaroos are out. Can you guys see? Tilt you down. There's one right There's here. There's two. There's two. One there, one there. Oh yeah. So this display is shared between the kangaroos and the vultures. They just kind of hang out together. I don't see the vultures out yet. They probably haven't put them out into their daytime area. No, there's only one kangaroo. Only one kangaroo. Um, but if you're ever interested in getting a, a more in-depth look at those gorgeous vultures, they are humongous. The best thing that you can do is Go to Disney Plus and watch the Secrets of the Animal Kingdom series. They have a whole section devoted to those amazing vultures. And uh, we learned so much about them from that show. There is, there we go. There is actually this giant 
other side. Okay, if you look. <gasps> oh, the parrots! You guys hear them? I think I went too high. There's some more. You can just see them over the trees. They're doing their fly around. Fly over. Fun, fun. Love that. Maybe we'll be able to catch that from the front a little, a little later. Gotta love those macaws. Under the waterfall. Waterfall. Blocked cell signal. <laughs> and now we know. Now we're on the other side of this Yep. Had to walk really quickly there for a minute or two. Just to get away. Lemurs? Lemurs. Oh, what do you know? They are. Let's walk over here where we can see them a little better. Good Say good morning to our lemur friends. Good morning, guys, to those just joining us. We are at Animal Kingdom this morning. We got a bonus live stream. Aww. So cute. There's just. No. He's sleepy. Can you guys see his sleepy eyes? He's got sleepy eyes this morning. He's like, I'm still waking up. He's just watching. So cute. Oh, oh wait, no, there's just a there's just a duck. I thought there was. They are ducks. They are. Oh, ducks. They're ducks that belong on this exhibit oh, down here. Ducks. Okay. Pretty. Bright red beak. Oh. Sorry, I'm I'm hey, panning guys, up. Are you sure? Yeah, why not? Are you sure? Camera out. You guys wanna go see if we can catch some some parrots before they fly away? So we were not able to get into a park yesterday. Park reservations were not open. Uh, they are much more limited right now, so it's a tricky thing. They may have already flown back away again. So currently with the macaws, they fly in, they're there for maybe a minute tops and then they fly back out. Yep, they did already fly. We were watching them. We saw them do the fly around. Yep, from the back. I got hit in the back of the head. Did you really? Or are you being funny? No, I'm serious. A macaw said, hit you? We were, we were right there toward the toward the front, and uh, as I came around, I got a, a little big thing go boop in the back of my head. He smacked you in the head. They're blinded. So one of them's still there. Is it that little rebel? Yeah, we got a couple of them still up there if you want to go check them out. One on the lamp. Yep, there's one up on the lamp post. There's always a couple that stick behind. Yeah. We got one morning dove who wants to be a macaw. He's hanging out on the I rocks. Think Looking for leftovers. Them. I think we let them. They're, they're a macaw officially. So they have a couple that the handlers are constantly having to deal with that don't like to go back in. So which one is this one? Uh, this is Griffin. <laughs> Griffin was not ready to go back this morning. I have a question. Yeah, they don't have to go back with the flock. They can go back whenever they're ready. The, the, boy, the ones that were mostly green were rainbow macaws, right? Um, the ones that were mostly green. We had a few different species out here. We had these ones are blue and gold macaws. I know them. They're the red ones that are scarlet. And then we have bigger red ones that are a little bit darker. And those are green wing macaws. Green wing And they just flew off. Yeah, and we'll be back at 10 15. Awesome, thank you. They actually didn't tell me. Well, that's okay because you come here all the time. I'm trying so you can to always ask. The species, and I don't know the completely green ones. That's all right. Vultures! 
Oh, there's the vultures, guys. Hang on, let me flip back around. I didn't realize the vultures could reach all the way over to the front of the tree. The, you know what? There's a total rule reversal because when we were back on the back side, the kangaroos were right up by the edge the of the display. Too. There were two of them. You can see kangaroos. The train, or are you still working? Still working. Let's see if we can zoom in to the vultures from over here on the side. Oh! see the vultures you can't tell from this distance but they are gigantic they're just hanging out I'm really curious I would love to talk to their their keepers and find out um, they were they took a couple of eggs from the nest and that's what they do with this particular breeding pair because they don't want their um, eggs to be crushed and they want to definitely maximize the breeding potential. I did. They're still pretty far off. Um, but they, they take their eggs and they switch out with a, with a um, pretend egg so the mom doesn't realize. And then they um, keep them backstage and do their best to give them the most ideal environment. For breeding. Yeah, see the little configuration they did for the bubbles. Oh, fun. So, so they have a fan? Yes, they have a fan behind the bubble machine. And a bubble machine. Cool you guys see this? And a drink holder. That is original. Can you guys see this is one of the insulated bottle holders they have? These are all things you can purchase right here. You make your own little bubble set up at home. I don't know if you guys can see all the bubbles. You cannot. There's lots of, there we go, bubbles. Bubbles. Life is amazing again. So many bubbles. I want to get the bubbles. Ooh, they have sunglasses. Yeah, let's go window shop sunglasses. Sunglasses. Do you think they're going to have them here? They may not have them here. Well, this side is not open until 10, so. But were we wanting to do a safari ride? Yeah. All right. Keeper is actually in with the flamingos right now. I think she's putting food in for the day. Waking them up. There, there's some pink in here. Okay, we came by earlier and it seemed like they were complaining, like they were all still had their, were all still tucked in. And yes, yes. I was gonna say, are you putting out food for them for the day? <laughs> Okay, great. Right on the safari, the other species of African flamingo that's 
of them have a lighter flamingo, but there are six flamingos in the world. One that everybody thinks about here in Florida is the Caribbean flamingo. Oh. Uh, what is that? Yeah, they are. They're the brightest of them all. And they are, um, you can find them further south, like in the Tees. Not necessarily up here. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually shrimp down in the water. And that's why they're making all of these excited vocalizations, is because she just tossed out some brine shrimp for them. So they're reaching down into the water to get them. She's, um, in case you didn't hear her, she said they get brine shrimp three days a week. And um, the other days, uh, well, every day, they get what essentially is flamingo chow pelletized bird food made for flamingos and that's what they have on a daily basis who knew now we knew they had gator chow from when uh, from our visits to Gatorland previously but I guess they have flamingo chow too so that's kind of fun oh, but they're all they're getting they're getting that they are going after those shrimp they are definitely enjoying them so the vocalizations that that they're making right now are actually happy ones but she did agree with me. She said in the morning they are very grumpy. We came by earlier, I don't know if you saw. They all still had their heads tucked under their wings. And um, when we were talking nearby them, they started making kind of grumpy little sounds, even though they didn't bring their heads out. Like, I'm not ready to get up yet, go away. Orange eyes, Liberty says their, their eyes are bright orange, and they are. Oh, duking it out for the shrimp. So they get shrimp three times a week. Three times a week they get this special treat. And the shrimp is what they get that lovely pink color from. It's strange you have to go all the way to the bottom to get them. They're just kind of laying on the bottom. There's, a lot, of, there's a lot of shrimp down there. It still. actually works though, because if you guys look at their, um, if you look at their beaks, they're kind of like scoops. So they turn them upside down and it lets them kind of scoop it up from using the top of their beak. Hong Kong, yep, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. All right. Uh, yes. I'm sure. Excited chirpy sound. They do. All right. All right, so let's take a look at our wait time, see what we got for Kilimanjaro at the moment. Let's see. All right, Kilimanjaro is a 45 minute wait. Oh boy. So. Uh, 15 minutes for Everest. Oh, that's not long, actually. Uh, 10 minutes for It's a Bug's Life. These are 25 for Dinosaur. 5 minutes for Triceratops Spin. 30 minutes for Navi River Journey. Also not a bad wait. 80 minutes for Flight of Passage. Which is still not that bad, no, considering it's the beginning Cali, of the day Cali and Cali people River tend to ru rush there first thing. Cali is still down for uh, renovations. Disorders. Yep. Sort of all ridden Cali. Do we want to ride Everest first? What do you guys think? Everest first? Liberty's oh. not riding, but she and I can hang out. Tuk tuk. The tuk tuk. Which is a good dessert. Yes, I had it the first day it was out. I had it. I had it within the first hour it was available. I was here that first morning to try it out. So. Oh look, they're out. The tamarins? The tamarins are out. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious! How cute is that? Munches and crunches. 
is having the munchies and the crunchies. Look at them. Look. We gotta protect these guys. The cotton top tamarins over here. So cute. Yeah, he totally just. Too many people. He did. He just ran around to the other side. They're better on the other side. Really yeah, they taste better there. Definitely. Oh, sorry, I'm still zoomed in. They're so well built. So cute. So they've got feeders scattered throughout the exhibit. Um, their goal is to not be, to not just feed them, but also to provide them with what they refer to as enrichment. So just to make their life interesting. It's you can't tell feeding. from here, but they're actually really, really tiny. So they look around to get oh. their food. Oh. That is the larger of the two. That's a good bite. Look at him on that branch. There is one way up. Let's see if I can get to him. Right, wrong way. The other, the smaller of the pair. Look. So cute. These guys need both work and not just. Oh, down he goes to join his little friend. They're so little. All right. Let's so, see you guys back the cotton top tamarins. <gasps> we got another friend. Only, only oh, there's a tortoise in there. Okay, Cotton top tamarins are only found in the tropical forest of Colombia. So a very limited. So. So there are actually tortoises in here. Let's see if I can zoom in. He's hiding. There's one over here too. That rock is moving. That's no rock. See if I can. There he goes. Look! He's racing to the next meal. So cute. It's got those legs stretched out, that neck out super far. He's going far. out for a Saturday morning early jog. He is. There he goes. So pretty. He's flying. <laughs> How cute is that? All right, sorry. The animals are a constant attraction for me, I can't lie. And we are at Animal Kingdom, so. Marky Mouse says that he smashed the like. Good morning here for a moment. running about. We have not seen them out for a while. They're really sim sensitive to temperatures. So with all of the cool nights we've had and even some cool days, they just they don't put them out in their outdoor enclosure when it's chilly. So we don't see them on those days. I the so I think they're enjoying just being out and running about. But we did promise a ride. Okay. 
We did. We did, we did. Andrew wants a safari. He wants to see all the animals. All the animals. All the animals. All the animals. I think he just found every single animal emoji, emoji available and just put them all into his comments so I you know. I want to see ranger too. All. I haven't seen ranger on the savanna yet. So this is the end of the line for the Kilimanjaro safari Ooh. right here. Right. Do you see this right Easy. here? Should we just go ahead and bite the bullet and just do it? I think maybe we need to. So also please note the sign um, today, they are only allowing exit only from Pandora into this area. Um, on busy days, they will limit the traffic one way it is inside the Lion King. Are we going inside the Lion King? We are in going inside the Lion King queue. Mm. Okay. This way? This that way, way, there it is. What are they looking for? I can't remember the last time we actually went through the queue here at the Festival of the Lion King. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We have no signal here. Oh, there we go. Back. Sorry, guys. Caught a little dead spot there. The line is actually moving pretty well, all things considered. And we're just, uh, we're in the queue now, but we're getting ready to walk right back out of it, so. We saw Festival of the Lion King. We walked through those doors right there. We did. It's true. That was a long time ago. Fitbit is very excited to see some animals today. Animals. 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 That was my line. Animals. You said it first. Are you whiny? That's a zebra. Um. For second, I was scared. Hmm. Zebras go. That noise. I, I don't think that's factually factually accurate. That's a that's a frustrated zebra. A frustrated zebra. Yeah. That's a zebra who can't get a park reservation during spring break. They go <laughs> all the time. Of course, a lot of zebras only have gold, you know, annual passes, so they, they're blocked out anyway. Oh, no. Look, karaoke. It was pretty cool. Hey, let's borrow some bikes. We can just bike our way to the queue. I don't think that's wise. We're moving. Yeah. We and we're walking. Look at our walking. That's we're moving, for sure. Least. Yep, yep. Hi, everybody. Good morning from Animal Kingdom. How are you guys doing today? Passing the baton. We guys are having an awesome morning so far. This is a little unusual for us to do a Saturday morning stream. Not that we don't ever want to. It's just we do want to make sure that we have a stream every Monday and Friday to share with you guys. But nice bonus surprise stream today to share with you guys. 
Especially since yesterday we couldn't get inside of a park because it's just spring break and park reservations are hard to come by right now. But we do have our park reservations for next week for our streams. We will be in a park on a Monday. I believe we're going to be in Epcot. So we're going to be doing some more fun over at Flower and Garden come Monday. And Friday, I believe we are going to be back over in the Magic Kingdom. So if you guys are watching for the first time, welcome to the stream. Glad you guys could be a part of our stream today. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and hit all notifications. So the next time we come up with a stream, even if it's a surprise one on Saturday, you guys will get notifications on it and can join us. So welcome. You guys are having an awesome day so far. I don't think I've ever been this far out for the safaris. I mean, we're over here by uh, the edge of Harambe. Look how far out we are. What's our pennies? I know hippo lion. Can get a hippo a lion and is that a pumba? We do them all at once. Get a yeah, hip, a hippo lion. Hippo lion pig. So I, I'm, I'm almost afraid to see what the actual weight was going to be. But, you know, we want to see some aminals today. We want you guys to see some aminals. So, appreciate you guys hanging out with us in line as we experience a spring break queue here for Kilimanjaro Safaris. Oh, a few reminders. We need a few reminders. We need a few reminders. Uh, um, no, we cannot stream on Soren, Sonia. They um, very strictly restrict the video of any kind. Yeah, you're not supposed to record or take pictures or anything inside of Soren. I think there are people who sneak cameras in all the time, yeah. but they, they do not ask. They ask you not to. Andrew's already watched the second episode of Winter Soldier and the Falcon. I liked the first episode, but it was a little uh, slow. slow. Especially for a limited series, it's only going to have six episodes. So I, I figure it's going to pick up pretty quickly. So. Week. We started off very cold this past uh, Sunday. Um, it was quite chilly. Uh, Caleb and I were freezing last Sunday. Um, then it picked up until about, you know, um, 60s and uh, early 70s. Uh, and all of a sudden on Thursday, it started to get back to Florida weather. And then yesterday we had weather that was around the high of 91. So today uh, we are again in the 90s, early, low, low 90s. Um, not a cloud in the sky, blue skies. So great spring weather here in Florida. One of the little blackbirds just found himself some popcorn. So I mean, it's uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a scorcher today. That's what we wanted to do. That's really why I wanted to do the safari as early as we could, guys. Because the later you go in the day, and the warmer it gets, the less likely you're gonna have activity. Uh, with the animals because the animals will start to retreat from the sun and find a shady spot not move as much so, so the treat you were hoping to get today is available at restaurant for us yeah barbecue Marky Mouse, thanks for popping in. We will. Uh, we'll check you later. If you by the time if you check back in later, we might actually actually be getting on the safari. <laughs> who who knows? <laughs> I bet we see if we can smell any of the grilled corn up here at the marketplace. Stroller parking. You can probably undo this. Get your stroller parked before you get in line if you can. It yes. saves you a lot of trouble. Or split up. Don't, everyone doesn't have to leave the line. Send someone, get everyone offloaded. Oh, 
All right, we're oh, actually, God. we're getting, we're getting actually. You can get sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit over there. Yes, you can. You can get breakfast, uh, breakfast Seven biscuit bucks. over there. Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit over at the Harambe Marketplace. Seven bucks for a biscuit. We are making our way into the actual queue. We're going to put this in the bag, right? All right, we're going to put this in the bag. That's fine. Put it in the bag. Ooh, out of the sun. Yay! Out of the sun and into the fryer. Simba. Whoa. Simba. Simba. Oh. Hey, Dad. There's a lot of people. I'm confused. <laughs> I got people coming both directions. Not really sure what's going on. <sighs> That's very confusing in the queue. I always recommend, guys, whoop, try to have your whole party together before you get in a queue. <laughs> Ooh, the booking office. All right, we're going to make our way into the safari booking office. No, we don't ever really get to explore this area very often because most of the time we're walking right through here really quickly. Yeah, we got a little bit of a lag here in the office. Connections issues. So are we in extended queue today? If they extended it off to the side. I think I've only been in the extended queue maybe a couple of times ever coming through Safari. Yep, they need that extra little space. So normally we'll cut right through this area and go through this door up to the right, but now we're going to the left, which means they have an extended area out to the side. Whenever they need the space, they can do it. And being the fact that they are already, all their line goes all the way back to the festival of the Lion King, they need the space. Yeah. Well, at least they have fans out here to make sure everyone stays cool. So would Kali River Rapids close today? Um, that's one last attraction. Of course, then we have stuff like, um, you know, uh, the Festival of the Lion King is not yet open. That will reopen this summer. And then of course, um, Finding Nemo the Musical not being open yet either. You've got a, less, a few less options to work with today. So with spring break crowds, I expected that it's gonna be a little bit longer wait times as far as things go. So. Lorella, good luck. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? You can hear the animals. What is that a frog? It's the kind of stuff you hear over in Pandora. Good morning, Jen. How are you guys doing today? As still as possible, they won't see you. Good morning, Zach tree you're being an upside down dinosaurs what you're being a dinosaur Rawr. say it again there <laughs> are so the weather today zach uh we're, we're expecting it to be in the 90s uh no rain today it's clear skies luckily we are in the uh nice area the shaded area but it is all blue up there Good morning again, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Dad. She's wearing her upside down Jurassic World mask today. I never know if you do if you really. It is upside down. Babe. Yeah, it is upside down. Dad's always like to lie about being upside down. All right, flip it around. We won't look. Mm -hmm. 
minutes. 12 minutes. Hey, we've made a good distance for 12 minutes. In 12 minutes, we've gone all the way from almost the exit of Pandora to here. Too extended. Hmm? Too extended. Oh, I like this space right here. It's nice and cool. We got a fan. Oh, look. We're doing a good, uh, we did really good this morning. I mean, honestly, for, you know, spring breakish time of year to get up on an early Saturday, you know, we did pretty well. Um, we're going to be streaming today till about 12 o'clock. So we're going to try to get in as much as possible before 12. Because, you know, some of us have uh, a birthday party to get to. So some of us are going to be going to a friend's birthday. And some of us are going to stay in the parks and hang out with you guys for the rest of the day over on Instagram, on Facebook, and the like. So appreciate all of you guys who follow us on all the other accounts. So even when we're not streaming, we still try to put up our experiences and pictures and things just to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, over in the park, so we're gonna be doing some park hopping today. Hopefully, if you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook and you have accounts there, definitely go ahead and subscribe and follow us. Andrew, Andrew says, uh, you guys are gonna, since it's on Susan's phone, uh, you're just gonna continue the stream at the birthday party. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us to your party. We're gonna stream the whole thing on YouTube. Oh, it's time for presents. Ooh, that one's disappointing. <laughs> Wait, who brought the pencil set? <laughs> oh, Hello Kitty. Wow, that's mm, big spender. Number one way to never get invited All right, so to a party ever again. Normally, this is where we would come out of the safari booking office. So you can see the whole little extra loop. Preach. I love the instructions. The animal pointed out to other people. Hey, that giant rhino that's standing right by our Jeep. Everybody, look. Yeah, I think, um, I think uh, Jen's statute of limitations for... Um, being at Disney World has already expired. Yeah, that was in January. That was that was almost three months ago. Is that? Oh, from Montana. Welcome. I was about to say a little little earlier in the morning. Hmm? You still owe me the the Alcatraz Three hour through the Safi River Valley that gets you even closer to the animals in their natural The Wild Africa Trek? Yeah. Whenever you do that, are you going to do Wild Africa Trek? Yes. Are you old enough now? Yes. Because you weren't last time we did it. You were too yittle. I was small. You were yittle. You were small. You were too young. You have to be, you have to be uh, eight years or older. Yeah, I know. We are, we still owe them some back, back uh, behind the scenes tours and stuff and safari things here that we have not been able to book because of the fact that they haven't started them back yet. And the so. void is just gone for good. Yes. I'm really looking forward to the void. We look through the bamboo. Yep, that's exactly where they're boarding. What? You either owe me the trek or a new hamster cake. No, I think we're still going to let you do taking uh, the gentle giants when they reopen that. Why you have to be the hell of a... So, so uh, we, had, uh, we had promised Liberty 
uh, a behind the scenes tour over here at Animal Kingdom. Back um, in early of 2020 that we were gonna take them on at the Gentle Giants tour where they take you backstage and show you how to take care of the elephants and give you a backstage tour. And of course, everything shut down, we could do so. So types of tours, we'll have to sign everybody on the Ear to Ear Magic family and, um, and do that. We might not be able to stream it, but we can probably vlog it. With you guys as well. Look, it's a zebra. Every zebra stripes are unique. And so, you know, we call them zebras now because I realize that Americans have no idea how to pronounce it correctly. Everywhere else in the world, they refer to them as zebras. And here in the United States, I call them zebras. I love so here on our channel and everything we do as far as uh, what we do here at Animal Kingdom we will refer to them as zebras we'll let you guys you know make that determination whether or not you want to call them zebras or not either but We're getting closer. The question is, are we going to get to that 45 minute? Hey, look, there's a bridge. 20 minutes waiting for zebras and ranger. Look, a Leon. This is a Leon. My favorite Kingdom Hearts character. That's your favorite Kingdom Hearts character. Isn't there a Leon? Like, I think in Traverse Town. <laughs> I think there is a Leon. I want to play the original We have the original We have it. Hearts. Yeah. I need to play it. We have it. I've now, played here is a Hypopopo Tamos. Hypopo Tamos. Hip Hop O Thomas. Hip Hop Thomas. Hip Hop Thomas. Hip Hop Thomas, my dude. A Hip Hop Thomas. Ooh, here's the bridge. A Hip Hop Thomas. Do not ask your driver to leave the motorable tracks. This causes harm to the vegetation and scenery. Aw, oh, man. Or you'll fall down into a pit. You found hip hop, hip hop, Thomas. Boom. Hip hop, uh, Thomas. Hip hop and hip hop, Thomas. Jumbo. Jumbo. Jumbo House. Animal Kingdom. Completely different video, guys. What they used to have, they've changed the entire um, setup. So. Okay. Can we choose? Oh. 45 minutes in total. Either side is a great view on the left or right. On both sides of the track today. The dock So make sure you're seated here today. All right, my friends on the track, put your right hand side. Hands, arms, feet, and legs as yours are sliding. Check. Come, the door is closed. And now you're stuck here. With no. Everybody. Everybody and wave now, goodbye. We'll no. never see these people again. Well, Jazzer, is this anybody's first safari ever? Raise your hand high in the air if it's your very first safari. Oh, welcome aboard. <laughs> and welcome back, everybody else. A few quick safety reminders. Make sure to keep hands, arms, feet, legs, all that good stuff inside the train. Orange ant, that's a greater kudu, and that is a female greater kudu. I can tell because she doesn't have any horns. Male kudu has spiral horns, grow to six feet long. Yeah, a little hard to miss. 
Those orange antelope were bongos, and bongos are known as the ghosts of the forest. They're pretty good at hiding. And unlike the greater Kudia, they stand five feet tall with the wingspan of nine feet in length. Jumbo friends, make sure everyone's all the way seated down on a seat or a lap back there. Thank you so much. All right, now we're going to be heading out of the little cherry port and into the Sabi River. Now, in the Sabi River, we'll have to keep a close eye on the water. And we'll see if we can spot anything just beneath. Now, hippos, they're going to stay in the water just like this to keep themselves from overheating. They can stay completely under the water for over eight minutes at a time. And they'll sleep under the water, too. Every eight minutes, they float up to the surface and take a breath. Water. All while there are lots of very large white birds. And those are pink-backed pelicans. Now, pink-backed pelicans get their name from the pinkish coloration that they'll get during mating season. If you look to your left, there's another hippo swimming under the water right here. That's a very cool view right there. Now, hippos, they can swim or they can also walk or run on the very bottom of the river. So, yeah, sometimes they do kind of look like pink ghosts at the very bottom. Now, there are lots of other birds around here that I'm not going to talk about. That is because they are not African. They are freeloaders. They're just here for the free food. <laughs> Coming up on your left are some Nile crocodiles. Now, the Nile crocodile will grow over 16 feet in length and weigh over 500 pounds. Now, their strong jaws are going to crush the bones of their prey, which could be anything from small fish to, well, you know, just about a lay eggs, female, female crocodile going to roll them in their mouth to help them hatch. If a female crocodile feels like her babies are being threatened, she's also going to put them in her mouth. So those strong jaws that crush the bones of their prey also help protect those little babies. All right, in the tree, which makes pathways for species that pass through. Giraffe are going to prune trees, and the antelope will mow the grass. Now to your right, you'll see there is a wildebeest walking towards the corner over here. We're probably going to see a couple more as we go along, but these are white bearded wildebeest. We're also going to see coming up on your right, there are some zebra over here. Now these are some Hartsman Mountain zebra. They're going to be black with white stripes. And no two zebra will have the same stripes as they are unique like a fingerprint. The Hartsman Mountain zebra have pretty thick stripes that are pretty spread out. If you guys go down to the Gorilla Falls Trail, you'll see gravy zebra on the trail. Gravy zebra have much thinner stripes that are much closer together. Now, I said that zebra all have their own unique stripes. So this is actually pretty cool. One of the ways that we keep track of zebra populations out in the wild is by finding them in the meat tray. They're almost always used as a symbol of wealth, especially to the Maasai tribe of East Africa. The more Ankoli cattle the Maasai has, the wealthier they are. All right, there are some wildebeest over here, some more wildebeest. Now at night, whenever the white-bearded wildebeest go to sleep, they actually sleep in rows. If any predators should come upon them, they can jump straight up and take off running in the same direction. It's actually pretty smart. But you won't really see the wildebeest out here on the reserve sleeping in rows. They do feel perfectly safe and comfortable around here and not as if they're going to be attacked at a moment's notice. Up ahead of us, there are some of the tallest mammals in the world and we'll see them much better here in just a moment. Yes, there are some giraffe. I want to point out really quick though, if you look out to your right by the tree, there's tiny little antelope just by the tree out there. Those are springbok. Believe it or not, they're the third fastest land mammal. They can go up to 55 miles per hour. It's almost as fast as a cheetah. Good view of these giraffe coming up over here on your right. Now giraffe are gonna tower 18 to 20 feet tall. Now whenever a baby giraffe is first born, it'll stand about six feet tall. To give you guys a good idea, the armrests on the sides of the truck are about six feet off the ground. So that's about the height of a baby giraffe whenever it's first born. Now these are all Maasai giraffe around here. I can tell by the patterns on their coats. And there's a couple more you'll see coming up on your left. There's actually several that are laying down over here on your left. And there's a couple that are a bit smaller. Um, looks like there are some babies hanging out over here. <laughs> but yeah, these, I want to see giraffe all together in a group. They are called a tower. It is a tower of giraffe. 
So a group of scared giraffes is a tower of terror. Uh, one, we got one left. Thank you so much for your support. All right, giraffe are only going to sleep for about 30 minutes a day. They spend all day long eating 20 hours a day. Coming up over here on your right, there's a fallen tree, which is a very good sign. We are headed into elephant country. And I already spotted an African elephant hanging out. He's just up ahead at the watering hole, coming up on your right. So very good view of this African bull elephants over here, the adult male. Now male elephants do tend to be just a bit more solitary. So they're gonna hang out all by themselves. Though sometimes they might form bachelor herds. That's going to be with two or three typically younger male elephants. But for the most part, they will remain solitary. And they're usually going to leave the herd with their mother in their teenage years. So we're gonna go see if we can find any more African elephants up ahead. Hopefully we can either find maybe the bachelor herd like I was saying with those two or three males, or maybe the larger female herd comprised of all the females and their young. Now since those female herds are much larger, they're going to be led by a matriarch, the oldest and the wisest of the herd. She can remember where she's been, even if it's been decades since she's been there. So she'll know all the best watering holes. So we'll see if we can find up ahead it also looks like we're just about to enter into some red clay pits. You see them coming up on your left hand, right? This is also another pretty good sign. There might be some more elephants to spot up ahead. So on your left hand, right, you'll see this red clay. Now, elephants actually eat this red clay. It provides a lot of nutrients for them. They also use the red clay kind of like a natural sunscreen along with sand or soil or mud, whatever they can get their trunks on. And they fling it onto their backs to coat themselves in that natural sunscreen. Looks like there is an elephant up ahead of us over here. There's actually a couple that are hanging out, so we'll get a closer look. And it looks like this is a, a bit of a smaller female herd here. Now farmers in Kenya have actually learned elephants are afraid of the sound that bees make. So they're going to put beehives or beehive alarms surrounding their fence lines. This is going to protect their farmland from elephants trampling it, but it also protects the elephants from being hunted. One elephant is killed every 15 minutes. But we're doing everything in our power to protect elephants all around the world, including helping to make those beehive fences. There's a good view of these elephants coming up here again on your left. Now, on a particularly warm day, like I was saying, you might see elephants throwing dirt or sand onto their backs as a natural sunscreen. Elephants can also cool themselves down by flapping their ears. They can lower their body temperature by 10 degrees just by flapping their ears. If you look to your right by the tree out there, there are those springbok again. You can see them just a bit closer, those little tiny antelope we saw before. And you can see their s'more coloration as well. Now they're a bit closer. They do look a bit like s'mores on legs. All right, up ahead of us over here, though, we are also heading towards a watering hole. These watering holes are a great socialization hotspot for lots of animals, including elephants. They'll come over here to get a drink of water. There's that elephant out to your left. They might splash water onto themselves, or they might even just dive right in. They actually love to go swimming. And it looks like also hanging out of the watering hole right now are some greater flamingo. Oh, there's baby ducklings to your left, just down below. So tiny. Happy spring. Now, greater flamingo are the tallest and the lightest pink of all the flamingo species. So they get that pink coloration from the brine shrimp that they eat. It is packed full of beta carotene. Now, whenever a baby flamingo is first born, it's going to be a grayish white. After about a year and a half of eating the brine shrimp, that is when they'll get their pink coloration. Whenever you see flamingos all together in a group like that, they are called a flamboyance. It is a flamboyance of flamingos. All right, let's see what else. Oh, there's a baby rhino. Happy spring. It's <laughs> Ranger. Coming up on your left, a very good view of the baby rhino over here. Now the sun's gonna kind of be in your eyes, uh, but this is a very good view of him right over here. 
<laughs> Super cute. Look, it's Ranger. Looks like we're trying to eat some lunch over here. <laughs> But these are some white rhino, though you might be able to tell they are not white. Look a bit brown because they are totally covered in mud as a natural sunscreen. But white rhino are actually going to be gray. So they get their name from the Afrikaans word white, meaning wide, so not cool. white, for their wide set draw. The white rhino are going to weigh around 5,000 pounds. Now, unfortunately, they are also hunted for the keratin in their horns. As I said, keratin serves no scientific or medicinal purpose. It's the same substance in your hair and nails. If you guys look to your right in the bushes over here, there's some white antelope that are kind of hiding over here. These are scimitar horned oryxes. Now the scimitar horned oryx are native to the desert plains of Africa and can go up to nine months without drinking any water. Good view coming up on your left, there are some cheetah over here. So there's a cheetah that's walking in between the logs and trees, all the way back behind this big rock formation to your left. So we'll see her coming out the other side over here. We're probably going to see a couple more up ahead here too. But yeah, she's just, oh, yeah, she's right behind those trees. We can spot her back there. Oh, well, we'll see. Maybe we can spot some other cheetah hanging out over here. I know she's kind of hard to see over there. Let's see. Now cheetah, they are the fastest land mammals. They can run up to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. Okay, there's one up ahead of us that's laying down. So this one might be a little harder to see, but if you go up ahead in between the trees and back in the very far back, she's laying down and facing towards the side. So she's a little harder to see. <laughs> but there's another cheetah over here. I know, and she's also looking away from us right now too. But cheetah have black teardrop marks as well underneath their eyes that are going to work like natural sunglasses for them. They reflect the sun's rays and make it a little bit easier for them to spot their prey. All right, well, hopefully up ahead of us, we're actually headed towards some Kobe rocks, and they are home to a bit of a bigger cat, the lions. So we'll see if we can spot some lions hanging out over here. They should be much easier to spot. Lions are inactive 16 to 20 hours a day. They spend all day long asleep. So we'll see if we can spot some lions hanging out over here. They're probably going to be sleeping, and yep, there he is. <laughs> so coming up on your left, you can see there's that lion hanging out on the outer rock over there. There's also a lioness right next to him. And above him, there's the other lioness there too. Now to your right, there are also some more white rhino over here. If you want to get another photo of some rhinos, there's two that are on your right. Yeah, but there's all three of those lions there on your left, and they are much easier to see. Just sleeping over here. Now, as I was saying, they are nocturnal. So they sleep all day long. And the reason for that is during the day, lions have the same eyesight as us. But at night, their eyesight gets six times stronger. So at night is when they do their hunting. And it's actually going to be the lionesses here, these females that are going to hunt at night, whenever their eyesight is six times stronger. And a lion's roar can be heard over five miles away. The lions, they sleep so much all day long, they're only actually awake for three years of their life. Isn't that crazy? What a life, right? I'm a little jealous, <laughs> just a little bit. All right, so there was another rhino up ahead. We're gonna go try to see if we can spot that rhino here too. Uh, but I do wanna point out another guy that's playing a little hide and seek. There's a warthog over here, but he's a little hard to spot. So if you guys look to your left, there's two trees out in the middle. Look behind the left tree. Right in front of all of those rocks back there, there's a furry rock with tusks. It's a warthog. So behind the left tree, kind of in the shade, and in front of all those rocks, there's a warthog there too. If you can't see it, don't feel bad. He's really hard to see. But warthogs come from the same family as the domesticated pig, and they've got those razor sharp tusks that will bear when they feel threatened. A much easier to view of, the, of this white rhino coming up on your right hand side over here. Very good view. Now white rhino are also going to be grazers. They're going to get all of their food from the ground. Whereas black rhino, like we saw back at the very beginning, are browsers. So they're gonna get all their food from low hanging trees or bushes. Now to your right, those are ostrich eggs in the ground over here. We're going to have to keep an eye out around here and see if we can spot any ostrich. They do have a tendency to run all over the place, so I can't make any guarantees that we are going to see them. But ostrich eggs are very tough. A human can stand on an ostrich egg and it won't break. It's pretty crazy. They're going to weigh around three pounds each, and they are each the equivalent of about two dozen chicken eggs. 
All right, it looks like up ahead of us, we are heading towards the Warden's Post. And that does mean that we are nearing the end of our safari here today. But no worries, guys. We've got one more friend to say hi. Looks like they're kind of hanging out all over the place right now. There are some Nigerian dwarf goats. They're coming up on your left over here. Goats. Now these little guys are domesticated as a dairy goat. So the villagers of Harambe can rely on them and sell their milk and their cheese instead of relying on the wildlife as a source of income. So they're really helping out all of the endangered species that we saw. They're also really great for the land here at the Warden's Post. They eat a lot of the plants that most animals won't, like weeds. And the Nigerian dwarf goats are ruminants, just like giraffe or okapi. That means that they have four stomachs. So it kind of looks like they've got little pot bellies. All right, my friends, and with that, we are now at the end of our safari here today. But the fun doesn't have to end here. Whenever you go back home, even you can be a conservationist. Just by taking out the recycling, such a small thing you can do that does make a big difference in these animals' lives. You can also recycle your old cell phones or laptops when you're done with them. Now, in the production of your cell phones or laptops, is a metallic ore called coltan, and it's mined in elephant habitats. So whenever you recycle your old electronics, you're helping save elephant habitats. Therefore, you are saving the elephants. Now, as you exit out of here today, and you do head back into the village and to the rest of the park, you can stop by any quick service food or merchandise location and make a donation to Disney's Conservation Fund. Disney will match dollar for dollar whatever you choose to donate and it all goes straight to saving these beautiful animals all around the world. And you get a pretty cool button out of it too. Alright my friends, here in Harambe we say Kwaharini. I can also say Asante Sana Kwaharini. That means thank you and goodbye. I hope you guys do have a great day today here at Animal Kingdom or wherever your adventures may take you. Now if I've got any wilderness explorers on the track, you've been riding on the Simba one. Simba one is the name of your track. So once again, friends, my name is Savannah. You've been riding on the Simba one. Have a great day, guys, and come back and see us, all right? You guys were great. It's a Jumbo Warden. Jumbo. All right, friends on the track, with your radiant side, hands, arms, feet, and legs, those doors are sliding open. And watch your step down. Have a great day, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys, have a great day, That was sketchy and spotty at the very beginning. Yeah, it's been a uh, been a rough one. Glad you guys could keep up with us. Thank you for refreshing and staying with us. So good morning everybody. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. That was so cool the Sea Ranger though. We got the Sea Ranger. Did you guys get the Sea Ranger? I don't know because I had yes, to hand off the no, camera. Ranger. Ranger, the newest baby rhinoceros here on Kilimanjaro Safari. Oh, okay. There are also ducklings. I didn't get to see the baby ducks. I was on the wrong side. Did you guys see the baby ducks? Yep. They were so tiny. Tiny little baby ducks. And the flamingos were just chilling with them. They were both in the same body of water. They're probably used to the ducks being there on a regular basis. Yeah, the elephants were a lot more. We didn't. We don't normally get to see the female elephants nearly as much. They seem to not be out the last few times that we've uh, been on the safari. You know what I haven't seen in forever? Ostriches. Where are the ostriches? I mean, I haven't actually seen an ostrich on the safari in months. I need to ask about that. If they're just not out these past few months or what the situation is. Hopefully head on back to the park 
area of the park that has, you know, cell connection. Hmm. I'm always kind of shocked at the fact that they don't have cell coverage at the loading dock there. And then once we lose that connection, it's like almost impossible to get it back. They do actually have a cell tower right there at the edge of the park. It's a, a mono pine. It is a fake pine tree, very tall. So I'm really shocked that we don't have better cell coverage as far as that goes um, on the safari. You guys, uh, who's up for a snack? Who's up to try a uh, Disney snack? The tiny humans have their hands up. The tiny humans say yes. So those of you just joining us, thank you for coming and hanging out with us on a Saturday morning. We normally uh, are on every Monday and Friday, but we thought, you know what? Because we couldn't get in a park reservation yesterday. I'm like, let's just do it for today. We haven't been in the park to share with you guys time so we guys are enjoying a surprise saturday stream today look at harafes we got to see some giraffes really up close on the safari today too that was cool right there at it all right so there was a 45 minute posted wait time for the safari i think it took 45 minutes to get on the ride and ride it i don't know andrew says that we were on the jeep by 23 minutes so that was not bad at all. So I'm surprised we, we moved as quickly as we did. To be all the way back at the theater for Festival of the Lion King, I mean, we started at the entrance of the Festival of the Lion King Theater. We were on the Jeep in 23 minutes. That's not bad at all. So. I wouldn't mind that, especially for a Saturday. So, we're gonna head on back over to the other side, over to the Starbucks, the Creature Comforts, grab a drink and a uh, snack. We're gonna try to grab a spring cupcake to share with you guys. Probably head over to uh, a, uh, I'm still looking at the line. There's still quite a few people. They prepped it. They even extend over the bridge here. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll grab a quick snack to share with you guys uh, the new treat they have here for the spring. I think it's a thumper cupcake, and uh, go enjoy it at the relaxation station before we hit another attraction with you guys today. Good morning, Mary. Hope you're having an awesome Texas morning. Good morning, Hatbox Ghost from Indiana. You're at Creature Comforts. They took them off for a while because they Yes. Your mask is right side on now. I was rescued. Your dinosaur mask. Dinosaur. The dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah, Rawr. Dinosaur. So, um, yes, we've got Liberty with us this morning, Caleb's with us this morning, and Owen is holding down the. 
because I don't have a very good imagination. You do. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe I'm not here. Mm. Just imagine you don't see me. I'm not here. It's all the dream. Yeah, the Shaka Khan. Yeah. So what are you going to get this morning? A strawberry frappuccino with chocolate chips in it. Wow. Have you had a frappuccino before? Yes. Oh. I didn't know. A vanilla bean? Oh. So no caffeine for you? Yeah. Hmm? Because. Have you had coffee before? I know Caleb has. That's right. You did have it one Christmas three years ago. No, this year. This year? Last what? I don't remember having coffee on Christmas. No. You had some at the house? Good morning, Disney Mom Debbie. How are you doing this morning? We're in line to grab something over here at Creature Comforts. So we've got two different lines, but they're merging together. That's kind of odd. Yeah. I'd do it just for the hat. The Raya hat's pretty cool. Caleb wants the Raya hat. Bespoke wants a big cinnamon Mickey ear roll. The aviator goggles you don't actually wear. You know, the ones they fit on top of your head. Yeah. They're all for fashion. Mm. They have the baby tuk tuk dessert here. That sounds like it might be. So this, their thumpers have the little chocolate thumper clap. The wababa, the wababa? Laying flat. Oh, that's not as cool. Because they couldn't put it on the. the new, oh, yeah, the, the little plastic case. You can't. Let me slip through here. He's looking a little greenish, isn't he? There's the thumper cupcake. So that's thumper. There's a roof beef sandwich, the colossal cinnamon roll, turkey and mozzarella on focaccia sandwich, the baby tuk tuk, and then the bagels. So I'm assuming we're gonna grab ourselves a, uh, a thumper cupcake, guys. You guys wanna try this with us? All right, here we go. Um, caramel, 
Caramel something. Other goodies here. Cake pop. Whoop, they have a petite vanilla bean scone. Red velvet loaf, iced lemon loaf, banana loaf. Mm. Yeah, we did kind of have an early morning today, didn't we guys? Yeah. Uh oh, he's hopping around inside. I wanna eat the grass. It doesn't look as big as the um, cupcake we saw at the boardwalk. I wanna eat the grass. Mm. You have a dime. I do. What? We're over here paying for our our coffee and our treat, guys. Susan's also ordering a gluten-free bagel, which I think is a first here at Starbucks. All the treats is. So if you have an allergy issue, at least at Disney, it's always a good idea to ask whether or not they have the option that's available that's not out where you can see it. They do have um, available and visible. Can you can you toast the gluten free bagel? I'm okay with it. For others, it might not be safe for those. So just No, I mean, I mean, is it possible? Is it is it scientifically possible to actually toast something that's, you know, manufactured in a test tube? <laughs> Waiting patiently in line. Whoop. Next green dot. Green dot to green dot. So, what did you order to drink? You got a cold brew? Cold and caffeinated. And what did you order? I got my go-to. Um, Try tea latte? Ice cream. Yeah. And we can go eat it at the relaxation station. We're going to go to the relaxation station where we can sit and take our mask off and enjoy her. In the upside down room. You guys know the upside down room, right? Upside down room? Yep, the upside down room. Liberty, we're gonna go to the upside down room. Yay. Yay. Are you excited about the upside down room or are you just saying that? Yay. Yay. Until you don't say yay. And then later on and then and then later on this afternoon we're gonna cut off your cell phone service. Yay. <laughs> We're gonna round up all your plush stuffed animals and sell them on eBay. Yay. Yeah. Yay.
In the world can explode the second you don't say yay. Yeah. <laughs> Her yays are the only thing keeping the earth stable. So you're gonna have a bite of our thumper cupcake? Yeah. Look, it's got carrots in it. That means it's Is it it's, carrot cake? I don't know. Is it carrot it is a carrot cake. It is a carrot cake cupcake. I think I'm gonna pass. I already had a carrot cake cupcake. You already had a cupcake? Yes, right. We had a carrot cake cupcake at the guest bar. It one seems like. The bunny, we are in it. It seems like the bunny bottom we prefer. The bunny bottom garnish. <laughs> that was a good bunny, though. It was milk chocolate. Yeah, that, that was quality bunny. You make fun of the bunny, but that bunny was a good bunny. I still love that. You took a bite of the bunny. Look at the ingredients. You took a bunny bite. Bunny butt garnish. Yeah. The rabbit rear. You have your cupcake utility. You're gonna make it make a whoosh sound. Whoosh, whoosh. It's whoosh to wash. Stabby, stabby. All right, moving up. Stabby, stabby. Stabby. No stabbing it. We're not being stabbing today. No stabbing. All right, I see a cold brew or something being made there. There's people ahead of us, so yeah. they're likely someone else's cold brew. Although there is a strawberry little cappuccino over there, too. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. We. Of course, this song is not really taking much of a risk being the fact that lions sleep 20 hours out of the day. A wee my wet. Any time of the day, the lion is sleeping. It's a tenedor. Tenedor. All our drinks are lined up. Or a boom is something. Boom, 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 and boom. Would you look at this? Would you look at that? Look at it. Would you just look at this? Look at it. All right, let's go. All right, on to the relaxation station. Thank you. Like We're going to head on over to the upside down room. <laughs> our favorite place. Up the upside down room is where we like to enjoy our treats. The downside up room? No, the upside down room. Downside up, upside down. The downside down room would be what it is. Or the upside up room. You guys can chat for a bit. I'm going to go back out inside and take a picture. By the way, if you guys are just joining, welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday. Glad you guys could join us. As we are standing here inside the upside down room, Pizza Safari. Oh. 
<laughs> it almost went upside down. Over here in the relaxation station. Take off your mask, breathe, breathe a little while. So, always fun times. This is Chris's drink. He got, I got him a caramel crunch frappuccino. He is a big fan of all things caramel. We'll wait to put his straw in until he comes back. I got an iced chai tea latte. And the three of them are gonna share an awesome treat. I got a strawberry cream frappuccino with chocolate chips. Yeah, Celebrity got a. That's my go-to, though I usually get chocolate syrup in it too. Yes, we didn't mention chocolate syrup, but that's fine. It's still good, right? Yeah, I chose not to get chocolate chips. And fine. then Caleb has a caramel cold brew. Is it good? Yeah, not as good as Gideon's, but. Not as good as Gideon's, Gideon's. you heard it here first. So the Gideon's coffee that he's referring to is the peanut butter cold brew, and he the got to nitro try it. Cold brew. He got to try it the last time we were there. He really, really liked it. And it's about the same price as this. So a Gideon's same price as this. That's true, but you do have to wait forever to get it. So join that virtual queue right away if you're wanting a Gideon's at Disney Springs. And I also got look a bagel. It's gluten free. Very exciting. And some cream cheese to have with it since I cannot partake in their yummy, delicious treat that they're going to be having. I haven't eaten the cupcake. Who's a bagel person? We actually stopped in at McDonald's on our way into Animal Kingdom today, but. Um, McDonald's is not really very friendly for me, so I don't normally dine there. I like their hash browns and chicken nuggets. Nobody likes the hash browns. She likes I like the chicken the nuggets. That's the they do have pretty amazing french fries. Caleb gets the sausage burrito. And Chris likes the biscuits, but he got a McMuffin today. And it's kind of nice that their drinks, their large drinks, or, or all their drinks are a dollar, even a large size, though. So. Mine wasn't registered as a large, though, sadly. Okay. I got like a small. Mm, yummy. I got a giant drink that it would take me two McDonald's. days to finish. So, as I mentioned previously, um, gluten free bagels are not on the menu, they're not shown anywhere. But they do have them here at Creature Comforts. Um, so, definitely ask. It was the same cost as a regular bagel, um, so not bad. And I got, you know, a lovely breakfast. Oh, well, here comes Chris with the awesome. Did you get all your photos? So, as I'm walking around, I continually have the little sprinkles are continually falling off. Oh no. It was shedding sprinkles. There's little ducks and chicks and rabbits and flowers and <laughs> all kinds of cute little things on there. But there's a lot of them that keep falling off. It's gonna be interesting what size this actually is. It's got it's a, oh, wait, it's a it's got cake. the double wrap on it. I Means it's a smaller cupcake. Mm -hmm. But thumpers on the top. It's That's cute. cute. He looks. Like the rice papers on chocolate. Yep. Mm. Honestly, I think I'll have a small bite of it to it. compare it to the eggplant cupcake. Which I honestly think the eggplant cupcake is going to be really good. No, we're unmasking. Unmasking our treat. If you're just now joining us, definitely hit that like button. We always have a goal um, of hitting 100 likes on our live streams because that is kind of the benchmark minimum that um, I can already see. YouTube 
that YouTube requires before they start sharing out our streams so that we can find some new friends. I can say by the topping of it already, I'm gonna say the egg hunt definitely is better topping wise. Like, you can't beat Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Nope, let's just wait and try it. Jelly Belly Jelly Beans and the ninth chocolate we are. So, Here, cake. look how tall that frosting goes on top. Goodness gracious. And is this one supposed to have a filling inside? So who's a carrot cake person? I have, for, most of my friends are either very for or very against it. There's, this is the third carrot cake cupcake we have encountered for Easter treats. I mean, I, I get it. Carrots, bunnies. Bunnies. Mm -hmm. Something fruit flavored would work too. Spring. At the same time, it does get a little redundant. Even repetitive, even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little sprinkles stuck to the side. Yeah. Remember to ask for extra cream cheese. You should ask for extra cream cheese whether you have enough for it either because you would add extra cream cheese. Yes. Stuck right there on top. <laughs> chocolate disc. Oh, yeah. It's got like a little flat, flat circle flat where the upper frosting where it kind of. It looks like you would put a figurine on it. Flat thing. Alright, let's see if there's any filling inside here. Oh, you're so Alright, more count. That's oftentimes when you have these refrigerated buttercream. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's my favorite candy app. Is it? The refrigerated buttercream? No, it's giving you a picture of it. It's really wow. Wow. Thick. Buttercream. So what carrot cakes did you find that Zoom yesterday? All right, so, hey, hey. Hey, hey. It's a light cake. I don't see a filling so much. I see a little. As I see. Well, yeah. There's a little filling. Is it marshmallow? marshmallow? Is it marshmallow filling? <coughs> it's hard to tell from here. I'm guessing it's going to be marshmallow filling. There's a little white something in the middle of this. Marshmallow mm -hmm. filling. Alright, let's see. Alright, Caleb's having a bite over there. What do you think? It's pretty good. I'd say it's more carroty than the uh, Easter egg. Food. Yeah, I'm tasting just in that little little bite that I had there. There's a lot of carrot flavor. Yeah. Very carroty. Very carroty. Yay, I got a bowl. See? <laughs> Melt the cupcake. Alright, the filling, since it's cold, the filling just popped right out. It's just, uh -huh. it's just a glob of whatever it is. It's, I mean, the entire filling is just, that's it. Yeah, that there's is, not much to it. That's all the filling that is in there. Okay. And what is it? Paper carrot cake. Is it good? Cream cheese. Okay. Cream cheese, okay. cream cheese filling. Not much. Not much, but cream cheese. Uh, Liberty is, um, 
not loving the carrot cake. So, so far, how do you think it stacks up to like the other carrot cake? So, so tell us you what have. you think. It's carrot cakey. It's carrot cakey. It's carrot cakey. It's company, but less flavorful. So it's carrot flavored, and so she doesn't like it. She would like her carrot cake to be less carroty. You could definitely see that. <laughs> no. No, she does not like it. She's, she's, she's just picking the frosting off now, and the cake is still in That's there. That's no different than when she was a child. That's true. I am a child. You are a teenager now. But when you were a little bitty child, we used to get you cakes and cupcakes for your birthday, and you'd eat all the frosting and just not even eat the cake. Leave the cake. Um, it does have a very strong carrot flavor to it. It really does. Um, a lot more than the other carrot cakes, cupcakes that we've had. Recently, I like carrot cake. It's one of the few ways I like carrots. So. It's got a little bitty sugar carrot on it. What's it but mean? you don't like carrots. I like I carrots. Like carrots. She likes she likes it's in the cake. Sugar. This is a little sugar carrot. I like carrots. I eat the sugar. I like sugar. You like sugar? Yeah. I eat sugar and then bounce off the wall. It has frosting on it. I can deal with frosting. There's no cake. If I eat the whole thing, you, wait, you don't like carrots either. Give me that. If I you eat, don't like carrots. If I, I like eat sugar. the entire thing, this wouldn't be the upside down for long. And it for, is literally just like eating a sugar. For Liberty, food. here's a is a sugar sunflower. There you go. What? She dropped a small piece. Oh, here you got a half of it. Mm. Don't I get any sugar stuff? You don't need no sugar. The doctor says you're not allowed to have sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this upside down and move into the upside up room. Yeah. Bounce off the wall is so fast you'll never see it. So how is your bagel? Was it red? Hello guys. Love and Discworld is on. Hello, hello, Craig. So, wow, that is a very strong carrot flavor. I've not heard that commentary about a carrot cake before. Well, a lot more than the other two that I've had. So, good morning, love in this world. How are you doing today? It's been a while since I've had carrot cake. Um, Might have to make some. These are Mom Debbie's remembering the peppermint at Christmas, yes. Um, uh -huh. well, I hope you're having a much better Saturday than you've had the rest of the week. Um, thank you guys for joining us here on a Saturday morning. Yes. We're having the Thumper Cupcake at Animal Kingdom. It's available at the Flame Cheap Barbecue, yes. Restaurant of Source, and Creature Comforts. Creature Comforts. It is, a cup, it is a carrot cake cupcake. Very strong carrot flavor. The spice is very strong, I should say. Um, Spicy? Well, you know. Cinnamony? Yeah, whatever the spices are in a carrot cake. <laughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. It's 11. It's 11. We don't have to leave until 12. Save it. Okay. So our, we're running till about 12 today because Liberty has a birthday party to go to. So she and I will be parting ways with the boys and I will need to take my phone with me when I go. So, so we're running till 12, but Chris, um, Chris and Caleb are going to be staying in the parks yeah. after we leave. And we're going to swing by and pick them up after. So. Um, definitely um, continue to keep an eye out on our other social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I would not be surprised if Chris should go live on both of those medias at some point today. And if you're not following along, you're going to miss it. So make sure that you have followed us on Instagram. Um, and what is it that you click to make sure that it notifies you when you go live? It notifies them. There's, is there something particular that you on, what? on Instagram? No? Nothing. Um, you on, just have to look at the top and see who's going live. Yes. On Facebook, um, definitely want to like and follow our page. 
Uh, the name is the same across all of our accounts, Ear to Ear Magic. And if you do that, then you're going to, um, once you hit that first live, there's always a little, not a little note notification that um, Facebook puts in where it says um, that you would like to be notified the next time we go live and you just click that and then ever after when we go live on Facebook it will give you a little notification that guys put it out but um, so it will um, it will let you know when we go live and uh, you won't miss it. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So Chris has finished the cupcake officially and has moved on to his caramel crunch frappuccino. Liberty's almost done with her frappuccino. So we're all sugaring and caffeining up. I will say this, the, um, the frosting is decent. It's, it's very, good frosting. It's, it's not the grocery store frosting. No, it's, it's good frosting, but it's green. So I will say, some people like grocery store frosting, so. I do. Liberty does. I also like grocery store cookies. So how is Thumper? Thumper's good. <coughs> Thumper chocolate? What would you rate him on? Thumper is chocolate. Pretty, pretty okay. Too makes me feel happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the rating scale again? Eh, pretty okay. Too makes me feel really happy. Eh, okay. Too makes me feel happy. Does it make you feel happy? It makes me feel pretty happy. <laughs> Yum. Wow, this has got a lot of fluff in it. Is a lot of fluff. There's a second straw here. It's like it's like how you describe a cat. Not, it, I mean, seriously, there's like marshmallow. Fluff. I don't have like any ice. Mm. It's weird. Chris likes his frappuccinos to be crunchy, as opposed to super sweet. I like mine. I like mine to be to be smooth with chocolate. But this is like a. I'm getting very little ice. Like, what is all that? I don't know. See, it's, look, all the bottom of it's like all the fluff, the cream. There's very little. That's odd. I've not had that before. I don't know. I don't ever get a caramel crunch frappuccino, so I don't know. I'm gonna compare it to. So yeah, like the whole bottom of it's like just the little cream. Whipped cream. cream? Yeah. Whipped cream and caramel on the bottom too? Yeah. That's odd. It's actually Stir it in with your straw. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with your screen. <laughs> it's blurry for us. <laughs> yes, it's blurry for us too. Better? A lot of whipped cream, not a lot of coffee. I've never ever experienced that before. Pretty sad. It's trash can right behind you. Yeah, finished. <laughs> JB loves Disney. Happy Saturday. Like I said we're having a little surprise uh, Saturday stream today. Um, we did have a chance to ride the safari. We had some connectivity issues here and there at the, at the very beginning. We oh, did. We did. We did. Could not keep connection in the loading dock, and then it just from then on it was just difficult. We have not figured out yet why it varies. I mean, we're not on Wi Fi, so it should be pretty consistent as far as the cell service that's allowed. So I'm not sure why on some days we go good and some days we don't. I don't know, but there it is. A lot of people there, a lot of people could be just some on the server drain on the server that they run all the Wi Fi or the we gonna head to cell now? service through. Good. Heading to the trash can. Um, Chris is slurping down his caffeine. I don't know what I'm gonna do when we can stream again, where we can actually walk around with our drinks. I know, it's gonna be novel. 
But right now you can't leave anywhere. So liberating. I have to put my mask back on. So, hey Chandler, good morning. We're gonna be going back outside the parks in just a few yep. minutes. And um, I don't know, where should we go? The line for Bobby River Journey? It's right outside here. It's just a well, the line for Kilimanjaro Safaris was like all the way over. That's true. Into the, the line. Festival of the Lion King. Yeah, Festival of the Lion King. They go to Dino Land where they got the dinosaurs. A d dinosaur? Dinosaur. 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 Her. The dinosaur. Dinosaur. 25 minute wait for Expedition Everest. Yeah. Dinosaur. 65 minute wait for Navi River Journey. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. 80 minutes. It's been 80 minutes for Flight of Passage yeah, it's all been that. pretty consistent. And um, it's tough to be a bug us 40 minutes. That, that is insane. I, I would never wait 40 minutes to have to be a bug. That show is not our favorite. I like it. Spider. I don't like it. I never get to go because we have a bunch of spider phobics. It's not even that. Like, it, it, I, I don't like the 4D aspects of it. But, I mean, yeah. She doesn't like bugs going under her bottom. I don't like it if the seat pokes it's, you. Yeah, the seat should not poke you. Yeah, but That's not okay. It, I don't like it when stuff goes like that. Like, Stitch's Great Escape, I could deal with that because I had a secret life tip. When it's going, I could go. Yeah, put your shoulders up. You put your shoulders up, so when he jumps on you, you just... Are you guys getting all this? They You'll never be able to you. use it. They can't see you, so they... Oh. It's a little... It's dead. It goes, did you, did you, can you do instead this? Of, instead of going... Boom, 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 go... Did you, did you, It's a closed attraction, but keep no. <laughs> no, you'll never be able to very ride it important. again. It's very important you know how to do this. This will save your next Disney trip. <laughs> this is do or die. And Pandora, if you, if once, <laughs> once the thing off and you move slightly to the side, it won't, it won't poke you as much if you move like this. Oh, um, yeah, Liberty says you sit on, on on just the side of your behind, and then you don't get poked as much. There you go. I don't, like, I don't like the way Area of effect. You could just see every other thing. On Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage is like where my favorite ride. Where poke you? Yeah, where the What are we talking about? Are we talking about when you link up? Yeah. This is what happens when you let the your vibration? kids at Starbucks. Yeah, I don't like the vibration. <laughs> she doesn't like the vibration. She doesn't the like the At the very beginning of Flight of Passage when you're sitting there and there's that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. She doesn't like it. You guys are cracking me up. Right. Mary's daughter doesn't like spiders either. I will say the first time we went to see that right that show, Liberty was very young. We didn't know. Oh my that, gosh. We didn't know either. I'm not this a spider. is 2011. <laughs> the spiders came, and she was very afraid. No, she screamed her head off. <laughs> <laughs> went to a complete because meltdown. Because she was very complete afraid. Complete meltdown in the middle of the theater. <laughs> It wouldn't have been that, it, it probably would have been a really bad deal if it hadn't been like five to six other kids doing the exact same thing. <laughs> December 26th. Every show. I mean, think show. about it. The 20, spiders are bigger oh, than 20, you. Oh, and they're coming down from the, the ceiling. The spiders are coming to get incident. Yes, they have little eyes. I'm okay with eyes. spiders. So There's one exception. Stay out of my room. So, JB loves Disney's never been on a bug slide. So, they, you do have a couple of different things that happen on the ride on the, on the, during the show. But one of the things that happens is <clears throat> the spiders will attack, and, and actual animatronic spiders drop from the ceiling, sort of like Mission Impossible. Da, 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 you da, said you see and them you've up been there. trunk to bug size, so it's not like they're little. They are tricky. They're very large. This is gonna go. And so your child who's afraid of spiders is suddenly having spiders come from them from above. 
And if that doesn't seal the deal, if that doesn't seal the deal, now that they're already on edge, they have uh, they have these things in the bottom of your receipt that poke the bottom and give you the sensation that there's bugs that there's bugs crawling underneath your seat. Yeah, no, it's not good. Not good. I feel like there's several things. Baby loves Disney, says so she hasn't seen it. Now she doesn't want to. Okay. There you go. We okay. helped you. I wonder if they're <laughs> ever going to um, replace it. Deborah, there was like, I haven't been, and now I'm not going to. Yeah, the, I feel like. But the memory <laughs> of those spiders has ruined it for me So, Liberty does not like the spiders. So, do you guys remember? This is going back. I know <laughs> before we get back out to the park. I don't know if you guys ever got a chance to. Honey, I shrunk the audience. Anyone in the chat? Honey, I shrunk the audience. Anybody raise your hand if you ever rode Honey, I shrunk the audience? That was awesome. Uh, you guys remember? I, I got to ride Neo, like Captain Neo. Yeah, you guys know Captain yeah, Neo. Captain Neo. Captain Neo is a completely different thing. Wasn't that Michael Jackson? Yes, it was Michael Jackson. <laughs> I, I, I think that By the way, you know, Michael Jackson uses the pronouns he, he. <laughs> so, now you guys did get to see Captain EO, but uh, after Captain EO and before Captain EO, there was an attraction there called Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Uh, it's in the theater that is now showing the Pixar Short Film Fest of yep. Red Epcot. Honey, I Shrunk the Audience was a, a pullback, pullout, standalone from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, it was after the second movie. Um, and uh, this actually, is really like a science show. Oh, hey, check out this cool science. Basically, thing. you had um, a, a, uh, Professor uh, um, Delinsky. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I try to, I'm probably butchering his name. That sounds right. Um, it's close to that. Um, but uh, he's at a uh, trade show, he's sort of like in an exhibit to mm -hmm. show off what's going to end up happening. Uh, with his shrink ray and what he can do with the shrink ray and he was going to you know ex uh, show it up on stage and everything's going to happen what ends up happening though is is that just like every other accident that happens on honey i shrunk or whatever the uh, ray gun gets turned toward the audience toward everybody and so all of a sudden you get everyone sitting in the seat gets, gets shrunk, shrunk down yeah and so you get to experience the idea that it's you who've been made really small. And then for the rest of the show, they're putting you sort of into it, but it's still just to show you watch. Here's the thing about this. At the very end, um, the, one of the other things that they created uh, on his little professor, you know, innators. He has an innator. He also has a, a, a multi, multiplinator. He has a pl multiplinator and there's a Somebody has a mouse. I think one of his kids has a mouse. And the mice get shot with the multiplinator. And so there's like thousands of mice. But the mice get loose because, you know, they, they didn't know they were going to happen. So at the very end of the show, the mice that have been multiplied start like crawling through the edge of the screen and like down in to the theater. Yep. At which point there were two to three little black tubes that, if you didn't know were there, were hanging underneath the bottom of every single seat in the theater. And so when the mice in the theater, on the, on the screen, start going down at the bottom of the screen and into the theater, they started shooting air through those little black tubes. So while you're sitting there in the seat, all of a sudden these little black tubes start going <laughs> under your seat. Uh. <laughs> which means they start flapping against the back of your shins. Uh, no. Um, and so if you had never been on that attraction, if you'd never been in that show, the best part was at the end when the mics start coming in out of the screen and the tubes start going and people start just screaming because there's a mouse in their seat. It's a very simple practical effect. But it works so well. Because of yellow and <laughs> Just because all of a sudden, yeah, they, you see it coming, and all of a sudden things start going, <coughs> starts going the bottom of your, the back of your legs. Oh, I love that show for that one practical effect. Honey, I shrunk the audience. I wouldn't be scared if there were a bunch of mice. 
But if you didn't know they were coming under your feet, you might. Yeah, you probably But might. it's funny. That's what I think about now at the end of, I know, I know it, that's tough to be a bug. Just those little tubes flapping, so. All right. You guys ready to go back outside into the park? Captain EO, I, I don't remember much of it, but what I do remember feels like a far, far off dream <laughs> that I don't want to remember. Deborah says they have enough real ones. I'm assuming Texas, uh, you've got spiders. That she's good as far as that yeah, goes. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Sonia, glad to have you on a watch yeah, in today. And Sonia's mom and dad. Good morning, guys. Yeah. Or good afternoon, I should say, over in the UK. All right, so let's mask back up. I am, sir. Thank you. All right. Mask up. 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes left, guys. I don't know if you're trying to wait. What you want to do in Dynamite? I just want to walk there for about a half hour. Oh. Well, you guys want to... Who wants to... It's about a 45-minute wait. We could make it happen. Huh? We could make it happen. We'd have, you guys have to go right afterwards. We got a bag over here. Oh, and by the way, the upside down room, why is it called the upside down room? Okay. <laughs> because all the animals inside the room, every single animal is painted upside down. Notice the monkeys, the bird, every animal inside this room is hanging upside down. You see all the upside down animals, Caleb? Every animal painted on a mural inside there is upside down. For Kenny the Pirate. Oh. Yeah. Look, I'm Kenny White. Yeah. Woohoo. I am Kenny the Pirate. Arr. You do have your daughter with you. Yeah, that's true. His daughter's cooler than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> they taught you were a dabby. Some good stroller music. I found it on the sidewalk. I have it did. Did you tell him I wasn't wearing a uh, Alabama hat? No. Huh. All right, guys. We've got about a half an hour left on our stream today. I figure we make our way over to uh, Expedition Everest and Caleb and I can take you guys on a ride. You guys want to go do a quick meet and greet with the Yeti, 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 As always, guys, you know, we love to, to share the live streams and to share the magic here in the parks with you guys on a regular basis. We love doing this for fun. It is a great way to share what's going on and to share our tips and the things. But uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, how we pay for our bills is we are Travel Mation Travel Agent. So if you guys, either yourself or someone you know, is ready to travel, book a vacation, and prepare for their next family outing, you guys can always reach out to us. There are no cost or fees to use us as your travel agents. And uh, we are glad to provide free quotes. And uh, of course, we always get taken care of by the vendors after you guys travel at no cost to you. So same price, but you get to have somebody help you plan. And somebody else pays the bill. And it's the same price too, or cheaper. Sometimes we can find you guys better promotions. Always looking for the best price for our clients. So let us know. We can ever help you guys plan a vacation. You can reach out to us through either Instagram, Facebook. Or you can shoot us an email address. Our email addresses are located down in the video descriptions of all of our videos here on YouTube. So, love to help you guys plan. And that's for Walt Disney World, Universal, 
and uh, any cruises as well. We've already booked a couple of cruises this uh, past week for the new Royal Caribbean cruises that are going over this summer. And uh, they are taking and departing from uh, the Bahamas and Nassau, so. Oh, it's that song. Oh no, 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 not the song. I gotta keep talking. I can't stop talking till we keep going. <laughs> this particular song, this little whistle song that we're walking through right now is a copyrighted song. And uh, if it shows up in our videos, we, uh, we get a copyright strike on our streams. It's crazy. Eat the bots. Eat the bots. I just want to see the boat. Eat the boat. I got Lots of stuff in the boat. Seeds. You do have seeds. What are you going to do with those? I'm not sure, but I had to basically murder a pine cone. You murdered a pine cone? I had to pull off all the spikes to get Aww. to the seed. Poor pine cone. Walking over here, this is the Yak and Yeti restaurant. We were talking about Yak and Yeti yesterday on yesterday's stream. Oh, it's really good. We enjoy the Yak and Yeti. Hopefully the uh, Expedition Everest line will go as quickly as it went for the safari. 45 minute post of wait time and we were on in 23 minutes. <laughs> He's just hanging around this town on the corner. They're just hanging around this town. The baboon. Oh, you're welcome, Rachel. I'm looking forward to helping you guys plan your vacation. Gonna have a great time. Can't wait to uh, help you guys plan as we get closer along. And the great thing is, since you guys watch along on our streams and live streams, You'll be a lot better prepared for your trip coming up because you'll know where things are, what to look for. And even as we come closer to your actual trip, we will continue to show you what the latest treats are and how things are changing in the parks as we get better and closer to a normal park operation again. Now they've been working on that Yeti Palace Hotel for years, still not open. Next season is like the last season ever, I think. It says they're opening next season, but you know, it's been that way for I don't think just, over I don't 20 think they years. Yes, they do have a special Raya in the, la in the Last Dragon cone. It's uh a dipped cone turned upside down in a cup so it becomes like the magical dragon horn. Extra, extra line. Extra extended. Extra extended.
It's 11.30. Okay, we're hurrying. See you next super zoom photo. This is sure line. What's that? This is definitely a line. Is, is it going into Nemo line? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Definitely a line. Mickey and Minnie are coming this direction. Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. Wow, I, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't We've know. only got half an hour left in our stream. I don't think it's really gonna make it. Oh, that's just... Wow. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about doing that. I don't know if we've got enough time today, guys. I apologize, but with only half an hour left in our stream, we do have to get them going. And this line is extending well beyond the theater. Let's go see Mickey and Minnie real quick. Yeah, earlier while we were in the upside down room, it said it's a 25 minute wait. It's saying 35 now. The line seems to be getting a lot longer than it was before. So we're going to see a trade off here between Mickey and Minnie. Alright, so we will be moving into April and we're going to be looking at basically um, Earth Month. Earth Day is something that's always been celebrated here. Matter of fact, if you guys are familiar with the history of the park, Animal Kingdom Park actually opened up on Earth Day. Um, and it's always been a special time of the year for them to have special celebrations. They are going to be doing some special things uh, for the, Earth, the periods around Earth Day. And during that time period, they're going to have special characters, the more rare characters, showing up on the boat cavalcade. So we're going to be coming back into the parks around those times to share some of those experiences with you guys as we celebrate Earth Day and uh, the time around it here at Animal Kingdom. So, good morning, Jen. All right, let's go find, let's go find the uh, the ladies. See if we can find something else fun to do before we close out for today. What's that? I have no idea. I don't even know if they're watching. Oftentimes, uses a place just to kind of chill and relax. The Rivers of Light Theater, and for you guys aren't aware of the fact, Rivers of Light um, has been officially canceled altogether. 
um, by Disney Parks. So it will not be returning to the parks even when shows, other shows do. Uh, I don't know what plans they have. None have been announced by Disney as what they're going to do. So right now it's just the theater. There's more ducks. There's ducks all over. So many ducks. So, Jen, did you guys get my letter that I sent you this week? We have not received it yet. We'll keep our eyes open and check to see what we've got. The last time we checked our, uh, our Magic Mail box, it was empty. But if you guys, uh, anyone else ever wants to send us something you want to share, we have our address is down. Our PO box is listed down in the description of our videos. But we'll keep it out for you, Jen. Haven't seen it yet. Always watching. Morning, Steve. How are you guys doing this morning? So we were going to ride. We were going to try to ride. We only got about a half hour left in our stream for today. Um, we're going to kill the stream at 12. The ladies are going to head on to some other activities. Caleb and I are going to do some more park hopping later today. So we'll have some more stuff over on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but we thought, well, we might be able to fit in a Expedition Everest ride. The line was going well beyond the Finding Nemo, the musical theater. So I'm a little hesitant that their 35 minute wait was actually 35 minutes. Even if so, it may um, it might be a little longer than we're able to do today. We'll be back. We'll be riding Expedition Everest again. Luckily we were able to get on the safari though. So we go um, check it out the uh, watch over in the observation area. We'll watch the uh, ride go by a couple of times. Oh, I just looked there. <laughs> Way too long a line. Watch as the trains leave. Usually the way that the pattern works, about the time you see a new train coming up here, you have one coming down here. Let's see if that how it's true. One going in. Great ride. Um, it's kind of weird because, you know, a couple of weeks, uh, two or three weeks ago, I got to go up here and see uh, most of these attractions from above. It's so funny, as much detail as on the front of this mountain, to see the backside of it's completely just flat, like a regular wall. It's kind of funny. There is a helicopter pad located on the backside of this mountain that's not visible from this side of the park. And uh, also, we're at the edge of the park on this side, so right behind the mountain are all backstage areas. <laughs> all right, so let's go to the front. Let's do a little bit of shopping before we finish up today. See if we can find any of those new ears.
We did get to see Mickey and Minnie on their boat. And Timon and, and Timon and Rafiki. Rafiki. I forget that Rafiki played at Washington. Yep. He knew drawings over there still. Like it's a forgotten part of the park for me. I could just exist. But I don't know why it just exists. It's a pretty neat area. So I'm scared about where we're gonna go. Even when you walk past it, I'm just like, oh. We need to take Liberty over to Rafiki's Planet Watch and let her draw some of the characters. We haven't done an animation class in a while. Right now, they're doing Ryan the Last Dragon up until the end of the month. Starting back on Earth Month in April, they're going to revert back to the other characters that are available. Look how long the line is over here for Expedition Everest. It's already got a three, three-way back and forth hatchback. We went over here for the uh, Finding Nemo the Musical Theater. It is Jen. You can see all kinds of cool things, including the way that the tracks slightly resemble a hidden Mickey. Not the biggest hidden Mickey from above, or at least not originally. There is one that is not so much able to be seen now, but was the middle part of MGM Studios back in the day. Was the biggest, largest Mickey. It was just basically a giant hidden Mickey. Walk. It was. Oh, I mean, it was not even just the outline. It was actually the uh, they actually built in the way that they did the concrete and things around it. You can actually see his eyes and his mouth. So you guys can, but I'm going to walk around. Oh. Did you want to walk through? If you guys want to walk through, I'll, I'll meet you guys on the other side. I'll meet you guys over there by Charlie Bites. Again, I'll walk back over here to the uh, theater. We were just talking about this the other night, the fact that uh, Rivers of Light is not gonna be returning. It had uh, many different renditions. Started out with a much grander show with the cast member performers singing and dancing in the show. Um, since then, they uh, had removed a lot of the performers, a lot of the singers and the dancers to the point where they were almost all unmanned boats. Honestly, one of the better shows that they had was when Rivers of Light wasn't working as they had intended it to be. They had come up with a filler show in the middle be called, called The Jungle Book Alive with Magic, which came about the same time as the live action Jungle Book movie, if you guys have seen that and are familiar with that. To me, that show, Jungle Book Alive with Magic, was an amazing show, very entertaining. Lots of, lots of singing, lots of dancing, lots of performers on barges in the middle. And was a very much more engaging show than Rivers of Light ever was. And, you know, I think, not that Disney cares anything about my opinion or our opinions in that way. If they can come up with something similar to that, that'd be a great uh, replacement for Rivers of Light. It's the return of Rafiki and Timon. So if you come out here to relax in the uh, Rivers of Light Theater, 
especially on the other side, the boats will come right by you. You can see all the characters and wave to them. All right, we'll go back around and meet up with the rest of the crew. The trilobites. Thank you guys for hanging out with us a little bit on Saturday here today. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping here at the beginning of the front. See if we can find some. I wanna see if I can find the two new ears. There's two new sets of Mickey ears that have been released since yesterday. We didn't find them at any of the resorts yesterday. So I'm gonna see if we can find them in the gift shop here. If not, I'll keep looking for them today because Caleb and I are gonna continue to do some park hopping around here and there. And uh, if I find them, We'll, uh, we'll post them on Instagram and Facebook later. Trilobites! The place where you get the really, really good buffalo chicken chips. Hi, Liberty! Go to Covery Island. Completely forgot about the music they played in Dino Yeah. Yeah. You can also get the baby tuk tuk moose here over at the uh, Isle of Java. An additional place to grab it and grab some coffee. Flame tree barbecue. Flame tree. Oh wow, that's a pretty nice sculpture. Nice sculpture. All right, so this is only going to be here for a couple more days. Here is a Ryan the Last Dragon sculpture, which was created last month. If you guys haven't seen it, it is available for premiere access on uh, Disney Plus. This is going to be destroyed in only a few days from now. Um, they're going to do a brand new uh, sand sculpture starting April 2nd for the uh, Secrets of the Whale. It's a new Disney Nature series that will be coming out on Earth Day on Disney Plus. And so we got the sculptures will be back starting April 2nd to tear this down and to start a brand new sand sculpture, which will be up for the entire month of April. We should maybe come over and see if we can be over here on April 2nd and see them build the new sculpture. I was here the day they first started this sculpture. It's kind of nice to see them start from the very beginning. Hello. Vicky, it is very nice today. Good 90 degrees. Oh, good morning, Vicky. Welcome. Glad you could join us. It's the new Robin Hood, Dooney and Burke. The sidekick, sidekick Dooney and Burke. This is the latest one. This one just came out last week. 
And look, they do have the Dunium Burke um, Sidekick um, Magic Band as well. Alright, let's see if we can find some ears, guys. The new ears. These aren't the new ones, but ooh, they're fuzzy. fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. So what are the new ears? Uh, there are two new pairs of ears, and they're both kind of purplish. One's a deeper purple, one's a little bit lighter violet. But you know me, I'm half colorblind, so. One hour chew toys. Oh, Nova would chew that through in like 15 minutes. A quarter of an hour. What is it? A little like a tennis ball? Doggy socks. Do they have uh, Great Dane sizes? I didn't do a dog any good at all. That wouldn't even fit on her nose. Poor puppy dogs. They don't make larger sized doggy things. All right, there are one of the ears right there. Right here. That's oh, one of them. Get the New Year's Liberty. So you guys tell me, because you know I am blue, purple, color blind. So. They're, they're blue. <laughs> okay, you guys aren't helping. They're purple. They're purple. They're purple. Look, this is blue. Purple. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jason. Thank you for the super chat, Jason. I appreciate that everything's tax deductible for you two businesses. I might have to buy this. Oh. All right, so. Lavender is a purple. Jen says that they are purple and blue. They are, they are blurple. <laughs> All right, so is that, that's one of them. I don't know where the other one is. I'm still looking to see. If it's over here, looking, looking, looking. Uh, no, I don't see the other ones. So we found one. <laughs> Periwinkle. <laughs> they left me. They continually are. They're continuing to look. I'm assuming these are not the new ears. but they don't come in adult sizes. I already know, I check. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, ain't no magnetic shoulder bird or shoulder Why flush. Why store him on metal? Hmm? Because he's, he, that's what he does. He likes to stick on metal. Mm -mm -mm. He's stuck. Ugh. They defy the laws of gravity. I've seen here. Are we super zoom again? Oh no. What is it with this thing today? I'm not monitoring it. We're back. Upside down orange fur. This shows off his magnetic personality. Yeah. He's sticking to it. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. He kind of looks like he's angry. <laughs> like he's, like he's upset that they canceled some of his, you know, better programming. Oh. 
Ah! Back up. There we go. Hey, Mickey. Yeah? <laughs> Did you know they, uh, they pushed out uh, the Black Widow again? At least they gave us Scarlet Witch. That's true. They did give us the Scarlet Witch. Oh, cool. Look at all the magnets. Born to explore. Always be prepared. Adventure awaits. I've always liked this little image, the whole looking through the binoculars. It's always been kind of cool. And of course, for us, it's back for the snacks. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this serving tray, man. Look at that. That is huge. Is it two of them? Tell me there's two of them. You found a hat big enough for my head? Yeah. But I can't see it if it's on my head. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you have to go into a bullfight. <laughs> Say toro, toro. <laughs> so I've not seen some of these before. Got some, uh, Look at the uh, serving platter. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Mike's out. Ooh, that might be something cool to get. Like $29.99 for the platter. The bowl. So I saw her, I told her. I can't see it, it's too low. Well, we gotta come back by here to go out. So Oh. It holds the lid on it, so it's like a travel, like a still. Like a travel. And it looks like we've got. Those, those, that is not melamine. That is like actual stuff. So, those on the other side. Let me see those real quick. I'm a sucker for plates. Oh, set of four. Look, you the magic jungle. Set of four plates here. Let me scan down here so you guys can see it. It's $34.99. And you've got one that's got the white rabbit on it. You got the castle. Dumbo. And one that is yellow very bottom you blow them inside the car and they magically disappear <laughs> they don't have the yellow one up so I have no idea what the yellow one is they don't have it on display so all of this looks to be like brand new stuff I've not seen these before and look Stainless steel water bottle with bottle toppers. It can change the top of your water bottle. Whether well, the Mickey ears, the orange bird, the looks like a uh, Mickey cupcake, and then Dumbo. It's cute. And then, how much is this? It's twenty nine ninety nine for that one. What'd you find? Ceramic mug with coaster. Coaster has all the little characters on it. Oh, it's even got Snow White. Look, Donald's driving his little car for the Tomorrowland Speedway. I'm not sure exactly what the practical use of the coaster is, but it's, cute. it's very cute. It's made to look cute. Mm -hmm. How much is it? $29.99, $30. So 
So all kinds of new stuff here for homewares here at Disney. Orange bird. And Mr. Toad. They're putting a lot of stuff of Toad on these things. So even though we don't have Mr. Toad's Wild Ride anymore. All right. Well, we found one set of the years. So guys, thank you for hanging out with us for a couple of hours here this morning as we uh, have a little special Saturday live stream here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're going to be concluding our live stream today, knowing that we will be back again on Monday for our another Magic Monday live stream, and again on our Friday fun live stream next week. I believe we are going to be going to Epcot and back to Magic Kingdom. Love to have you guys with us on our future live streams. Do us a favor, share out our streams and invite some other friends to join along. Love to have more people kind of join in the party, have fun in the chat, ask questions, and just have a good old time here in the parks. It has uh, really been a uh, good morning so far. So you guys uh, have a uh, wonderful weekend. As always, if you guys ever have any questions about things here at Disney World, Universal Cruises, travel in the you know inclusive uh, resorts, anything like that, let us know, reach out. Our email addresses are Chris Edwards at travelmation.net, Susan Edwards at travelmation.net. Love to have uh, email from you guys, questions, or you can also uh, send us something as a DM on Instagram or message over on Facebook as well. But it's pretty good morning. Well, we did get to go on the, the safari yep. and enjoy the safari a little bit. So that was we good. Did. We, we got, got to see Ranger. Yes, we got to see Ranger, the baby. That was cool. Baby Rhino. So. He has big old feet. And does his feet big old? Did he have big he old feet? He has big old feet. I'm surprised he was as still as he was. He's like a puppy. I, th I thought he'd be cross. running around and playing and being like, you know, Rhino puppy play kind of thing. Because, you know, they, they call a, a group of rhinos and rhinoceroses a crash for a reason. That's true. So, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you guys always for the likes. Uh, every time you guys are on Instagram and Facebook and you like our posts and you make comments, that helps us out. We are a small business and every little thing you guys do is a great support to us. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, if you guys are watching our live streams for the first time and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our magic community and our future live chats as well. And if you would like to support our channel on a regular basis, we also have our Patreon account. You can become a patron and a member, an official member. Yep. We've got five tiers you guys can join. You can check that out also at patreon.com forward slash ear to ear magic. And uh, that information is also in the description of our videos. We'd love to have you come and join over there. We pop stuff in there all the time that's sort of behind the scenes or something we don't put anywhere else. We have great chat amongst uh, the rest of our crew as well. So thank you guys so much again for having us this uh, Saturday morning. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your Saturday. And as always, we will see you guys in, in the, the parks. parks. Thanks a lot, guys.